Thank you for coming back to Polka Dot Mailbox, and if you're new, welcome. Today I am working with a couple of things. So I'm making a birthday card, but I'm starting off with this little shaker pocket. So at the beginning I showed you a package of, they're basically little under eye masks. They're from my FabFitFun subscription, and when I took the masks out of the packaging, I found this little circle that I thought was perfect to make a shaker card. So it's my inspiration for this birthday card that I'm creating for my friend, and I'm using the Jen Hadfield My Bright Life collection once again. The saying on this cake, or the saying on this cake, the saying on this card is going to be, let them eat cake. And I thought that was perfect coming from me, for one. So my full name is Antoinette, and it was Marie Antoinette who said, let them eat cake. So I thought it was appropriate for me to give my girlfriend this card for that reason. And because she's celebrating her birthday and... I love all the colors and I guess I can tell you because she probably won't see this before um, I give her her gift, but I'm also gifting this collection to her as well. So I wanted to use the collection that I was making um, the card with uh, as a gift for her so it would be some added inspiration once she received and opened her present. The um, card that I am creating here, I started off with a base simply chosen for the size of envelope that I had. I wanted it to be a square card so that I had lots of space to work with. And I am doing a lot of layering, so I'm going to put some tool in a layer where I sewed all around these three layers. I'm going to go in later and cut off that tool so that it's even with the background. I'm going to glue each of these pieces into place here and I'm going to pop up the main part of the card feature on this foam adhesive. It's sticky on one side and then I glue gun it on the other side. And then I just trim this on and I'm going to pop up the main part of the card as well and I'm going to use foam adhesive for that also. So it's going to give a lot of dimension to the card. There's lots of layers and lots of details that will go on top of the card as well. So I glue that into place and then I'm going to just rough up the edges to provide another element of texture in amongst all of those details. So you've got the different layers of cardstock, the tool with the polka dots, the stitching and the roughed up edging. I've come in here and added some final touches of these gold thickers and some enamel dots and then I'm going to put it all together on top of a birthday gift that I have wrapped up for her and I've used the Willow Lane collection wrapping paper to wrap that one birthday note or um, birthday music note paper and then I'm going to use that rosette that I didn't love on the card. I'm going to put it on this gift instead with the gift tag and some flowers and then I'll put it all together. I do actually go back and make an envelope for this card as well but I wanted to show you how it looked all together. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again next time.